I am now going to discuss everything you need to know about the news section of the admin portal. To get to the news section, you can either select the first green box on the home page or go to menu news. You are automatically going to be greeted with a box that is prompting you to send out a news feed item or push notification. For now, we're just going to click to the side of that so I can show you some of the back end stuff, but I will go into detail about sending out a push notification in a few minutes. First, we're going to discuss Facebook pages. Now, if you would like newsfeed items to have the ability to be cross-posted to Facebook pages for your school, this is where you need to add those Facebook pages. You are the only person able to add the Facebook page because you have the username and password. So to do so, you have to just press the plus sign and it will take you to Facebook and you can log in using your username and password and then press login and it will prompt you to allow access. Now back to the newsfeed section. You will be greeted by that box again. Click to the side. If you would like to add a newsfeed category, you can click newsfeed categories. These are subcategories within your push notifications that certain people can follow if they're interested in the subjects like athletics or a certain club or organization or school closings. They can follow those certain groups. Everyone who downloads the app will automatically be opted in to follow all categories. But if you would like to add categories, edit or delete them, this is where you take care of that. To add, you would press add. So you would press and you would add that and press save and see success that it worked. If you would like to edit it, you can click edit, edit it, and then if you would like to delete it, you can delete it by clicking the X or selecting this button and delete select it, whichever way you'd like to do. Now if we go back to news, we can see the box once again. Now I will go through this and this is how you send either a push notification or create a new newsfeed item. So for a title, we're just going to put test for now and then a body, just something in the body. And you can now select the color you would like to make it, whether or not you want bullets and numbering, font size, and boldness. You can also attach a file. To do so, you would just select choose file, select the file you want to attach, and then press open. Once you've done that, you will get a little preview of whatever attachment you're sending if it's available. As we discussed earlier, you can see the Facebook pages that this school already has added in. If you would like it to be your news item to be cross-posted to those Facebook pages or that Facebook page, you select that Facebook page. None will be selected to begin with, but if you want one selected, you just select it. And as we talked about earlier about categories, all users is automatically selected no matter what. But if you would like it to go to certain groups, you can just select one certain group or multiple certain groups. You also have the ability to schedule the news item for later. If you would like to just send it out as soon as you've filled out everything, you can just press save. But if you would like to schedule it for later, you can select that box. And then you can select a date and time and it will now be set to send on May 29th, 8 a.m. Lastly, you need to decide whether or not you're going to be sending this as a push notification or just as a news item. If you send it as a push notification, those opted in to receive push notifications and allow push notifications on their phone will get a pop-up on their phone saying whatever new, the news feed item. If for this, it would say test, test one, 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 two. Or if you decide to deselect that box, it will only show up in the news feed. Now you can just press save. After a successful push notification, you will see success at the top of the screen. 
Just like before, you have the ability to edit and delete items. To edit, you can just go in and delete certain things or change them and then press save. Know that it will not resend the push notification. It will just change the information within the app itself. If you would like to delete an item or multiple items, you can select delete here and press OK. Or if you want to select multiple items, you can select the boxes next to them and press delete select it. And then press OK. And that is everything you need to know about the newsfeed and push notifications.